Hello everybody, my name is Kindo and today we are going on to part 4 of this Beyblade X series. In this video, we'll be learning about Beyblade stadiums and the types of stadiums that are out there right now. We'll first break down the stadium and then we'll explain all the stadiums that are out there. So we'll start off with what comes with a stadium that you can assemble. When you get stadium sets like these, they come in 6 parts. It comes with 4 clips, stadium shroud, and the battle arena. To put the stadium together, line up the shroud to the battle area using the holes, the shroud, and the battle arena. Once you have aligned them, use the four clips that you have and push them down on the rectangle holes. Now you can properly battle your Beyblades. Now that we have assembled our stadium together, let's talk about every part of the stadium. We'll use my black stadium as an example. This green line that goes around the battle area is called the extreme line or the accelerator rail. In the second episode, we talked about parts of a Beyblade and the bits have this gear part on it. These gears on the bits collide with the extreme line and start a move called the extreme dash. Extreme dash makes your bay move around the stadium about twice as fast as its current speed. Attack and balance types benefit from using the extreme line. You can take apart the extreme line and swap it out with different colored extreme line parts. You can't have a stadium without stadium pockets. There are three stadium pockets. Two of the pockets on the sides are called over zones and the pocket in the middle is called the extreme zone. I will explain the point aspect in the next video since points are a part of the gameplay aspect but that is all there is to the stadiums. Now we can get to all of the stadiums that are out. There are four stadiums that are out and we are counting Hasbro stadiums. So we'll get to one of our most common stadiums to get and it is a little pricey. The Takarotomi Extreme Stadium. You've already seen the stadium that's because I just used it as an example for the stadium breakdown. Right now, there are five variations of the stadium. There's a white base with a green extreme line, clear base with a black extreme line, black base with a green extreme line, a white base with an orange extreme line, and the limited white base with a red extreme line. They all perform the same, it's just different colors. And you can just mix match them if you want to. The next stadium on the lineup is the Hasbro Extreme Stadium. There is only one of these stadiums out since Hasbro just launched Beyblade X not too long ago. It has a black base with a green accelerator rail for its color scheme. The difference between the Hasbro's and Takarotomi's is the Hasbro stadiums is just skinnier, making it that skinny favors attack types more than it already has. The set this stadium comes in comes with a good bay, that being Dragger Drawn or Drawn Dagger. It is worth around 50 US despite it coming with god awful launchers on like the next stadium that we'll be talking about. The next stadium we'll be talking about is the Bucket Stadium. The Bucket Stadium is a budget stadium that anyone can get. It is square in shape and it has has four pockets. There's a problem that the bucket stadium does present like how the bay can just stall at the curve part here because there's no rail teeth present. The last stadium that we'll be talking about is the three player stadium. As the name entails, the three player stadium lets you have three players bay battle at the same time. It is wider than TT's extreme stadium and the extreme zone is on the opposite side of the overzone pockets. The color scheme it has is a white base with a purple extreme line. I don't think you can mix match with the original parts from the original extreme stadium because of its shape if it does work then i might be wrong but if it doesn't then it doesn't. There's a variation of the three player stadium where the extreme line is red, but I don't know if that is out or is coming out, but it does exist. So that is all of the stadiums that are currently out. In the next video, we'll be talking about the gameplay aspects of Beyblade X. Until then, thank you guys for watching this video and have a fantastic day.